everybody, I am back with a Locklick video and it seems that Locklick has updated their AI painting function as well as their SVG library display on top of a display for the pro upgrade section, which I was trying to access and I couldn't because I wanted to see like what I actually subscribed to like a, a couple weeks back when they had that update and they do have some bug fixes so i'm going to go ahead and update and see where it has taken us this time with the updates i'm excited to see what's going on i love everything that they're doing as far as upgrades i think they're heading in the right direction so i've pressed update and it's going to install the software update okay and it's asking to restart I'm going to press allow, allow. So Locklick has updated a few of the things like the offset feature. I definitely feel that was a part of the bug fixes and they have made the AI generator a little more fluid, a little easier to use. There I really do like a lot of the updates that they've had. I want to show you guys the AI graphic. I already used it, so it does already take count. Sometimes there was a glitch where it went back to 20, even though you closed it out and you already used it. So it doesn't go over the 20 images per day. So let's prompt something new here, and hopefully it will show me what I'm kind of envisioning what I want for AI. So I'm gonna generate four images. I really didn't know what to put as the negative prompt. I just threw something random in there. And then the prompt itself is, I mean, I kind of am looking for something like a New Year's party scene with animals, eating and drinking food and basically celebrating. Um, so let's see what Locklick Generator gives us. So I'm gonna press generate. So this is the feedback that it gave me for line art. Um, I did put I want animals and I did get to people and the other three are accurate to what I was looking for. Um, if I were going to choose one, I'd definitely choose either the top one or the bottom one. But this is one thing that I wish we were able to do with our generated images since it does take from our 20 count images per day. I wish we were able to check the ones that we like so we can save them. But so far, we aren't able to save images such as PNGs or JPEG style documents yet. I'm hoping that this does change in the future for Locklick users because this is something crafters do use. So I'm going to click import. Original, I don't really want to edit it in any way. And boom. Yeah, it's pretty cool to have that AI image generator. I did not see an area where I can look at the membership that I subscribe to for the AI generator. You get like a panel or maybe a pop-up for those that are on the pro version that did upgrade for the AI updates and stuff. So we'll see what happens in the future. But I do like the upgrades. Everything is going right where it should be with Locklick. I definitely want to see some image saving capabilities for different formats, if that's possible. And I'm going to go ahead and try out the print and cut option in the next video. So I'll go ahead and link that below. Okay, so I lied. I thought I was going to be closing out the Locklet Crafter when I noticed there was an update on the firmware update little button here, as you can see and i wasn't sure if i was going to update this and then like redo my whole video but i ended up going ahead and updating the firmware which required me to plug in the locklet crafter and i had to take out my microphone because i only have one usb port so i went ahead and plugged in my locklet crafter so that way i can go ahead and do that but right here i just realized like 
Oh, it's the, it can't be Bluetooth. So you do have to plug in your Lockly Crafter if you're going to do a firmware update. And as you can see, I took some screenshots because I wanted to make sure that if I needed to go back, I didn't miss anything because I'm going so fast. I'm trying to get it to update. You know, saying not to download version 7. And I believe someone asked me this in the comments because they said their firmware update was stuck at like version point, like version 6 or something. So you do have to make sure you are plugged in and you go ahead and click the latest version, which will be version 0008 and click download and I press next and I went ahead and I did this off screen and I press power and I press update at the same time. So there I am pressing update. This takes a good minute, so make sure that you hang on until it says update successfully, then you let go of your button and you just click out. So I did go ahead and refresh the software as you can see in this next few seconds of the clip that I just close it out and then reopen it. And it lets me know it updated successfully. So I just click out. Because there's no need to do that again. And I go ahead and close here. And as you can see, I was already updating <laughs> my banner for YouTube. So I'm going to be right back with the next clip by opening a lock click with the updated firmware. So in this next clip, I went ahead and I just reopened lock click and I did get this weird warning which I just wanted to be sure that everything was working properly. So I went ahead and reclosed LockLick and refreshed it by reopening it. All right, so the next portion of this video is going to be me using the calibration feature to try and calibrate my printing gun because the multiple times I have tried it, I have been unsuccessful at getting a correct print and cut. Uh, for the longest, I wasn't even sure how to do it properly, but here I am showing a video of the registration marks and the calibration lines that it does. It does take quite a bit to complete all the cuts, and as you can see, the cuts are kind of off here and there for each of the lines, and you have to choose the right number that goes right over the line. And I was a little confused with the negative and positive values, but I think this is just their system and how it works to make sure the calibration is correct. Unfortunately for me, this the whole thing did not work for me, but I'm hopeful that this is updated or corrected in the future. So here I am going ahead and putting my print and cut image on my canvas, which you do have to upload your own already set um, sticker page I can do this in another video how to do that to import it into your locklet crafter so you can go ahead and print and then it has to also upload the part where you have the contour and as you can see um, I already have the contour lines there but when you upload an image like I did it will go ahead and ask you like how to do that so I'm just setting the canvas here on a 12 by 12 and I don't think I did it. No, it didn't work. This is the video right here on the left. As you can see, it's scanning the lines and cutting them. I got really excited when it started to cut because um, prior to that, it just wouldn't even bother. I think when it was like version, the early versions of Locklick. But it, unfortunately, it didn't work. But we're getting closer and closer every day. And I do want to stay hopeful. Like, this is going to work out. So, if you guys are going on this journey with me, hopefully there will be an update where we can successfully print and cut with our lock click. But that is the video for now. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for following along this journey. 
I apologize for the noise in the background, but I will be back with another video. Maybe we can do a video on how to import your print and cut image. Um, but so far, I'm really appreciative for Locklick and everything that they're doing, they're going forward. I understand like these things take time to perfect, but I think once it is perfected, this is a pretty big game changer for those of us who want to use Locklick Crafter. But thank you for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.